another video and this one's going to be a really quick one on how to get very bronzy glowy skin and I've been so into that lately and I have a million videos on how to get dewy skin on my channel but I just thought I would concentrate more on the face makeup and really explain what brushes I use and what products I use and things like that. Yeah it's gonna, just going to be a quick one and as you all know I'm going to be posting one video every day this week and yeah so we'll just get straight onto it. I've already got my eye makeup done or well, half done. Um, I've only got 15 minutes to do this right now because I have to go to my brother's play but um, my skin is completely bare right now I'll write all the products that I've used for my eyes and my brows in the info box and to first start off a makeup look I always use a, a moisturiser and this is my Garnier Moisture Match Cream I know I use this all the time and I'm probably going to try and find another moisturiser so that I can change things up a bit because I keep using this and I just can't move away from it. It's just a really good moisturiser, very affordable and I just love it so much so I always apply a ton of this on my skin because right now it feels super tight and dry. And then to prime my face and also hydrate it I'm going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I absolutely love this at the moment. It's just so amazing. It's only £20, which I think is so good for like a high-end thing like this. And another one that I like is the Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. I'll link it in the info box anyways. Um, and another one that I do like is the um, L'Oreal Lumi Magique primer that one's a very nice one and it gives an inner it gives a really nice glow to the skin so I like that one as well and again these ones really hydrate the skin at the same time so I, that's why I really like them so I'm just going to spray this all over my face I just love to like bathe myself in these so the foundation that I have been loving at the moment is the Nashi Glow this will give you such amazing dewy glowy skin so um, this it's been three years that I've been wanting to try this foundation and I just love it so much it really is worth the money I mean if you want flawless skin definitely get this foundation and they have shades for everyone so I'm just gonna apply just well dot this everywhere on my skin so to blend out your foundation I do recommend using a damp beauty sponge I mean I use the beauty blender but you can use the real technique um, real, the real techniques miracle complexion sponge I think that's what it's called that's a really good one it's like my second favorite compared to this one and then there's the Nanchi sponge I have been on and off with the Nanchi one but it is a good one as well so I just like to dampen it and then just basically blend my foundation in I feel like when I blend with a damp sponge it really keeps that dewiness and the hydration and everything and it just blends everything so quickly and flawlessly and I just love it and for my eyes I haven't really done much I just quickly put some brown eyeshadow on the crease I mean my eyes are kind of funky at the moment I feel like this one has more lid space than this one and when I open my eyes, when I do my makeup and when I open my eyes, this, it, my eyes look like they're demented or something and it's just bugging me. I'm like, I don't know if you guys can notice it, but when I open my eyes, when this one, the lid space on this one is bigger than this one. And sometimes it really makes my, like, when I look up, it looks so weird, so... <sighs> I don't know. Okay, so when I'm done with my foundation, I like to do my concealer. And I'm obviously going to use my Urban Decay one, if I can find it. Oh, there it is. So this is my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I'm in the shade Medium Dark Warm. And if you've watched my previous video, I explain why I love this concealer so much. So I'll link that in the info box as well for you guys. And again, I like to use my Beauty Blender to blend it up I don't like to go too outwards here because I already have a round face and I feel like if I go out out there a bit more um, it makes my face even rounder so I just really like to highlight highlight under the eye area and that's it some girls like to go all the way over there. 
I used to do that but it just makes my face look even rounder and I don't like that basically. <laughs> And if I go too far outwards, I use the other side of the sponge dryer that I blended my foundation with and I just blend the edges. See, so as you can see on this side, I went a bit too down. So I'm just going to take a little bit more foundation. You don't have to do this, it's just at my preference, really. And I just like touch up. Then to set in my concealer, I do like to use my yellow powder from my Makeup Revolution Contour Palette. Um, and I just set that in lightly, I just like quickly dab that onto my eye area. I don't really put my, that much product. Um, I do like to use the Stay Matte Powder by Rimmel and Ben Nye Banana Powder and um, I want to try other ones but that will be coming on my channel soon, I just need to get them and try them and I might be doing some reviews on them as well so we'll see about that. And then next I like to go on to bronzing my face and the bronzer that I have been loving, I mean I used to use these ones a lot these two from the same palette but since I got this um, NYX matte bronzer which looks like this it's in the shade deep and this I got from boots.com um, I've just been loving this powder I mean I was kind of he hesitant about it at first but I just really love it and then the brushes that I've been loving to use to bronze up my face. Well, the first one is this Sephora powder f brush. It's the number 48 one. This is a very old brush that I have. And it's actually my mum's. We used to live in France, so that's why it's a Sephora brush. Um, but basically, I stole it off her and I keep using this. You don't need this brush. I mean, I always emphasise on the fact that you don't need expensive brushes to um, do your makeup. But there's so many affordable ones at these days like the Real Techniques ones, the Morphe ones which are amazing and there's so many other ones like eBay ones, Amazon ones, there's just so many. So I do have some alternate alternatives for you. Well I found this one, let me find it. I haven't tried it yet but it looks quite similar to the one I use. Um, so there's the Morphe B1 Jumbo Powder Brush which is quite similar and then there's the Zoeva Luxe Face Finish Brush that's a nice one as well but Zoeva's a bit higher in price but check out the Morphe brushes on beautybay.com they're so amazing and they're so affordable and they're kind of the same so you don't need this expensive brush and then I use, I also like to use this large stippling brush and this is the MAC 187 brush I actually bought this when I first started getting into makeup and I just wanted a really expensive brush I don't know why so I got this but I just really like it still so I do tend to use this sometimes to blend the edges if I feel like I went overboard on the bronzer but um, I take this and I just like dust it on there and then I just lightly go on my cheekbones sometimes I make these funny faces sometimes I don't so that I see where the product is actually going and I really use a light hand and I really bring it as well into the hairline and as you can see it just gives a nice glowy finish compared to the side Ew. So I bring it, I like to bring it outwards and then kind of like bring it inwards if I'm making any sense right now. Then like there's these matte powders that I really want to use called, um, what is it called? I think it's the Gimme Sun Powder, but I feel like that one would be too light for my skin. But there's another one called Power Sun or Sun Power or something. It's a different one, but I'm hesitating to get it. So if any of you have already tried the Sun Power one, let me know how you guys like it. Because I feel like in pictures it looks very red. This side is always my hard side. I never get it right. But this side is just so easy to do.
and I'm taking this brush here and just blending it out a bit because might be a little overboard, maybe a little, maybe a little. So another thing that I like to do is use this Sephora Blush Me Powder in the shade Bren. I will tr be trying to find some dupes for this because it is quite pricey but I just like to add this on top sometimes and it just gives a really nice glow at the same time because the NYX powder is basically matte so this adds a little bit of shimmer. Um, I'm not doing any contouring or anything here, it's just bronzing up my face. This is what I like to do on a daily, to be honest, like when I go to work and stuff. Um, and then the final step is my highlight. The highlight that I really like to use is Makeup Revolution Radiant Lights in Glow. It's such a pretty highlight and it's so pigmented. The brush that I like to use with this one is the Real Techniques Duo Fiber Face Brush. And I just like how it's like kind of tapered. and I just really like to highlight with this so I just get some on the brush and then kind of like just apply some on my cheekbones. I also like to bring it some on the like eyebrow area and some on my nose especially on the tip area. As you can see, this is such an intense highlight. I love it so much. To make the highlight even more intense, you can use a spray to just spray on the highlight on the brush and then that will make it even more intense if you're going out or something or even if you just like intense highlight on the daily. doesn't matter, that's how like I would make it look in more intense. And then the final step is I like to just use a spray and this makes everything look less cakey and right now I'm using the Mario Badescu one and it just smells so yum and lovely I just love the smell of rose water so um, yeah that's all I do I'm just going to finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back so that's the end of this video I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial on how to get bronzy, dewy, glowy, lovely skin make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did like it and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time Bye guys, it's scan up from House of Razor where you can get Urban Decay or otherwise I think it's around the 17 or 18 pounds which I think it's an alright price for a high-end concealer, especially this one. So that is 